Hello everybody. Today I'm at Jim Chapman Lake. I'm at the spillway and I'm going to be trying for some spotted gar. So hopefully I can get on some spotted gar. I'm seeing a whole bunch um, jumping at the surface. Just going to be fishing with a rope lure. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to get some cut bait and I'll try with that. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, there go. They're blowing up all over the place. So I didn't have too much luck yesterday. Um, saw a lot of gar blowing up, but we couldn't get any, so we had to go get some bait and got some rest. And we're here early and we're gonna try and get our spotted gar. Or die trying, or, well, maybe not die, but uh, suffer serious disappointment. I mean, this isn't as full of them as it was the other day. There's one right there. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's a beauty. That's a spot. Wow. I'm just going to let the circle hook set itself in his mouth when it tightens up. Oh, that's a, that's a spotted gar. Nice. Yeah, sweet. Oh, did he drop it? Oh, no. He dropped it. Damn, that wasn't long enough. Okay. You may have to take look. Maybe go down size on the bait. Because it's not the fish are small. Yeah. I mean, he chomped on that for a while. Yeah. All right, it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to try to set this hook. Nice. Looks like a spotted gar. Nice. Got him. Got him. I caught him. <laughs> and he's a big one. Really? Y yep. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, gar. Oh, where's my glove? Do you have pliers? <laughs> Not on me. Oh shit. Possibly. Let me uh, measure him first. Yeah. I, I want to get everything done. Okay. Nice. He's 27. Huh? He's 27. There you go. Do you want to step back a bit so I can get oh, you're yeah, in the yeah. shadow? Mm -hmm. Sorry to be so bossy. No, no, no. You do what you gotta do. Got my spotted gar lifer. <laughs> Look at that nose. Did you just push the red dot? No. It should be going the time no. it's recording. Oh, okay. You went recorded, not pictures? No. Okay. There you go. It's recording. There's your bullet. Nice. Your torpedo. 
All right. There he goes. I think he's, he's got it. Yeah, he's been chewing on it for a while. I'm gonna set it. Size two bait holder, but we're also using one odd circles, offset circles. That's a uh, 20 pound mono, steel leader, barrel swivel, bobber, 30 pound braid. But we're um, the bobber stops about six feet deep, so we got the uh, bluegill guts right on the bottom. The bobber is just to see when the gar is swimming up and down. He's eating the whole bobber. Yeah, he took it down and he still has it. Yeah. The car still has the bobber in its mouth. Swimming away. Just gonna see where this goes. Damn, I just missed the flip. I think he may be tangled in it. Um, I'm gonna try pull him in. There he is, way down there. Ah, oh, he dropped it. Oh no, he still got it. I think he's tangled. Just gonna try gently pull him over here and try get him in the net. Yeah, try that. It's a catch. Where's it at? I don't see it. Oh, right there. Oh, I think he might have got me tangled. Oh no, he's right there. There he is, straight out in front of us. See the bobber under the water? Yeah, yeah. Right there. Oh, he's a beauty. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, don't get off. Get in that thing. Here, here, you, you worry about that. Lift, lift, lift. Just came off. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. He's caught. No matter how he got caught. Yeah. He's caught. Maybe a little longer. Oh, I think he's way longer. Yep. Maybe a little longer.
Nice, 30 inches. How much? 30. What a pretty fish. All right. That was unexpected. Look at that slime on my glove. So on that last one, here's the whole tangle of line and stuff. That gar made a rope lure out of my line. He chomped the bobber and there it is down there. You can see it floating away. So it's it was attached to the line completely. So I was pretty lucky to get that gar in. So I recovered my uh, little bobber there and you can see there's quite a few tooth marks on the bobber from that last gar. Okay, we got another one on. This is number six we've had on. Lost three, landed two. Hopefully we'll get this one and call it a day. I'm gonna try set it. I'll get going after. If you feel it on there, I'd give it a good pop. All right, that's gonna do it for me. We finished, uh, we accomplished the goal of getting the spotted gar, and uh, hopefully we can get some more fish. We're calling it early so we can go and try some ponds in Dallas, maybe for tilapia or some sunfish. We'll try to get some other species. But it's been a pretty awesome day, and we we'll probably sit here messing with these gar all day. It's just biting every uh, 15, 20 minutes. But yeah, it's been fun.